The Safe Drinking Water Act was passed by Congress on December 16, 1974 to protect public health by regulating the nation's water supply. The act protects drinking water and its sources. The Environmental Protection Agency sets standards for drinking water to prevent contaminations from chemicals, animal waste, and pesticides. When it was first introduced, the Safe Drinking Water Act focused on treatment. Now it focuses on source water and water system improvements. There are a few steps the agency must take to ensure safe drinking water. First, it must identify contaminants that can affect public health. Then, it must set a maximum contaminant level, which regulates the level of a determined contaminant in water. Then, they must conduct regular assessments to determine vulnerabilities, and set national standards for tap water and goals for risk reduction. The Safe Drinking Water Act has had a significant impact on public health in the United States. Waterborne diseases like cholera and typhoid have virtually been eliminated from the U.S., and its drinking water is one of the cleanest in the world. 93% of Americans have received healthy drinking water. However, there have been recent events that have exposed some of the pitfalls of the Safe Drinking Water Act. One of the most prominent examples is Flint, Michigan, where lead was drained into the drinking water in the city in 2014. Since then, there have been elevated lead levels in the tap water. In 2016, the city instructed residents to use bottled or filtered water for drinking, cleaning, and bathing. 10,000 children living in Flint have been exposed to lead. There have been almost 80 lawsuits and 12 deaths from diseases that have occurred because of lead poisoning. The events that transpired in Flint have called attention to aging water infrastructure throughout the United States, including lead contamination in Washington, D.C., Mississippi, and even in Columbia, South Carolina. Between 3.3 million and 10 million lead water pipes remain in the United States. There have been a number of amendments to the Safe Drinking Water Act since its inception. In 1986, wellhead protection, monitoring for more substances, filtration for surface water, and restrictions on lead and plumbing were added to the Act. In 1996, the Act was restructured to regulate standard assessments to be more risk-based, as well as including a public awareness report called Consumer Confidence Reports. It also strengthened protection of microbial contaminants and allowed infrastructure assistance. In 2005 and 2011, the Act strictly restricted lead and plumbing, and in 2015 through 2016, the Act added assessments for algal toxins in drinking water and provided financial assistance to people affected in Flint, Michigan. In 2018, the Act was restructured again to improve water infrastructure for navigable highways, dams, and other reservoirs, as well as raising more funding for hydropower. Infrastructure maintenance costs $7.7 .7 billion a year. Some other major problems are that sometimes contaminants do get through and affect the public because they are often overlooked. The National Resources Defense Council an environmental group aiming to protect the right to clean air and water argued that the Safe Drinking Water Act does not do enough to protect millions of Americans who use tap water. They noted that PFAS chemicals were above healthy levels and said that the Trump administration was intransigent in aiming to ensure safe drinking water. The EPA has found perchlorate in drinking water in 45 states, affecting over 15 million Americans. In addition, new chemicals have not been regulated and there have been no new identified contaminants since the 1996 amendment. One article noted that chemicals were assumed safe until proven otherwise.